Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today is video six in our Git and GitHub series, all about forking and cloning GitHub repos on our journey to Git Git. So our agenda for today is we're gonna talk about what forking is, what cloning is, and the differences between the two. So forking a repo, when do we want to fork a repo? So forking a repo is good when you want to add a copy of someone else's repo on GitHub to your own GitHub account. So say for instance, somebody is doing a project on time series of air pollution. You really love what they have done with the project so far, but you feel that you can expand on it. You may want to fork their project onto your account so that you can expand on their project, okay? So let's actually go into GitHub and see how forking happens. So I'm going to go into GitHub and I'm actually going to open up another tab and I'm gonna hit the Octo Kitty up here because I want to find a repo. So let's say that I wanna find a repo on, since I said time series, I'm gonna put time series in Python. And I'm gonna see what it's going to give me back. So in this case, it seems like the first result was from Max Ben Christ, and it says awesome time series in Python. Seems awesome enough, I'm gonna click on it. And then here I get their nice little readme. I also see all of their files and I'm like, okay, I really want to add to this or use this. So I'm gonna hit the fork and the fork is up here in the right hand corner. And when I fork, I wanna select my account and it says, hey, this is the repository name. It looks like it's a curated list of Python packages that you can use. I only wanna copy the master branch. So some of them may have two, three, four branches. You can choose if you wanna copy, I mean, fork every branch or just the main or master. And in this case, I'm gonna create fork. So when I create the fork, notice that it has my username up here now. And it says, this is on a Spratly's GitHub account and it was forked from this original owner. So now what I want to do is copy this URL to actually clone this repo down locally. So forking is pretty much borrowing somebody else's repo and creating a copy on your GitHub account. So it's GitHub to GitHub. Cloning is going to be from GitHub to Git, to locally. So cloning is remote to local. Forking is remote to remote. So in this case, I'm going to copy this URL that is on my fork. I'm going to open up a terminal. And in our last video, we were able to create a remote repo on GitHub and then do a Git clone inside of our, what do we call this? Inside of our first GitHub folder. So in this case, I'm inside of a repo and I never want to clone a repo inside of another repo. So I'm just gonna do CD dot dot. And I see that I'm inside the folder, okay? This is not a repo, this is a folder. So now I'm gonna do git clone and I'm gonna copy down that fork on my account. I'm gonna make sure it's on my account because if I want to push changes, I only want to push changes to my account. So I'm gonna do a git clone, it's cloning it down. If I hit LS, I see now I have awesome time series in Python, which is that fork on my account, as well as that repo from last video, which is GitHub first. So I'm gonna just do a control L to clear my screen and I'm gonna CD awesome time series in Python. Here, I'm going to do a git status. Says that I'm up to date. And notice instead of my origin being main, it looks like my origin is master, okay? So some of the older GitHub repos may still have a master 
and that is like the central or master repo versus the main repo. So be careful with that. Um, most of the time, if you're getting an error, make sure that your branch is actually called master versus main. Everything is starting to be changed into main. So that is a good thing. And say, for instance, I want to make some edits to this. So I'm going to put code and code is going to open up Visual Studio Editor. And it looks like it opened up my original project, but I'm going to go back to my actual search. Oh, I don't want to search. I'm going to actually close out of this and open up another Visual Studio code. I'm going to just quit it. And then here, I'm going to, on the welcome, I'm going to hit open. I am going to just go into repo. Actually, I'm going to go into documents. I'm going to go into first GitHub, which is the folder, and I'm going to go into awesome time series in Python, and I'm going to open that, okay? Here, I can click on the README and see the forked README that I have. I'm gonna actually click on Git. Let me make this bigger. And here, I'm going to want to make a change because this is my fork, and I'm gonna put a title here, and I'm gonna say in all caps, my first fork. And then I'm gonna do a command S to actually save it. Since I'm in Visual Studio Code, I see that it was modified with this M. I'm gonna hit plus. Remember the plus is like get add. So now my changes are staged. Then I'm gonna do a git commit and I'm gonna say adding a title to read me because I want to make sure that it is descriptive. I'm going to hit commit. I'm going to sync those changes remotely, hit OK. And now when I go back to my fork and I hit refresh, I can see that I made the change my first fork. Okay. So remember, forking is going to be remote to remote where you're going to take someone else's repo and make a copy on your GitHub account. Cloning is going from GitHub down to your local computer, okay? So with that being said, that has become the end of our tutorial. So thank you so much to tuning in with Learning with Jelly. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.